morning, this is Mr. Lubing with your daily Wildcat Wire news. Today is Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. The weather outside today is mainly sunny with a high of 83 degrees. On this day in history in 1810, Mexico issues Grito de Dolores, calling for the end of Spanish rule in Mexico, marking today as Mexican Independence Day. In 1997, Apple Computers named co-founder Steve Jobs as the interim CEO. Jobs would soon go on to change the world with the introduction of the iPhone. What's better than regular bread? Cinnamon raisin bread, of course. Today is National Cinnamon Raisin Bread, so make sure you pop some of that in your toaster when you get home. It's also National Guacamole Day. It may look gross, but tastes like heaven. In honoring Hispanic Heritage Month, today we celebrate Mexico earning their independence from Spain in 1810. Interesting fact, as of July 1st, 2019, the Hispanic population in the United States is 60.6 .6 million, which makes it one of the nation's largest ethnic groups, contributing 18.5% of the nation's total population. We would also like to highlight Silvia Mendez, a Mexican civil rights activist. In the 1940s, Mendez grew up in a segregated part of Orange County, California. Orange County enforced segregation at public facilities and housing restrictions on selling property to non-white applicants. In 1946, when Mendez was just eight years old, she played a part in the Mendez versus Westminster case to end segregation in her community. The success of the case made California the first state in the nation to end segregation in schools, paving the way for better known Brown versus Board of Education seven years later, which would bring an end to school segregation in the entire country. She was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the United States' highest civilian honor, on February 15, 2011. When asked about the experience, Sylvia stated, when I got it, I couldn't stop crying because I was thinking, finally, my mother and father are getting the thanks that they deserve, said Mendez. This is theirs, not mine. They stood up against the establishment. Now for our Wednesday wisdom. We do this to educate our minds and our hearts to help us become more successful human beings. Today I bring a message to you from Confucius. Confucius was an influential Chinese philosopher and teacher. Confucianism focuses on the love for humanity, worship of ancestors, respect for elders, self-discipline, and the conformity to rituals. Confucius also believed in Ren, which put simply is using the golden rule. He who asks a question is a fool for a moment, but he who never asks a question is a fool forever. Many times in school, we don't understand what our teachers are trying to say, or we don't understand something we've read. This happens to every single one of us. This doesn't mean you are stupid. It means you are a human being. So don't be afraid to speak up. After all, before you can ask a question, you have to be thinking, which makes you a whole lot smarter than those who aren't thinking at all. We also want to provide you with the metaphor of a seed. A seed is small and needs tender, loving care to develop water, to drink and sunshine to grow. Even though there may be storms, the seed perseveres and grows into a large tree. It may stand out from the rest or become another tree in the forest. When you watch this next clip, think, how are you the seed?
these thoughts for just a moment. How can you be the tallest tree in the forest? How can you use all of the resources around you to succeed? How can you push through when a storm comes and things don't go your way? How will you improve yourself? That about wraps it up for us here today. Remember that today is a B-Day. Be sure that you attend your B-Day classes. Thank you again for watching. And remember to start each day with a positive attitude, face new challenges head on, and always rise above. Have a great day, Wildcats.